Hi, this is Laura Link with Link Private Tutoring, as well as possibly your ACT prep teacher in St. Tammany Parish. Our St. Tammany Parish school district, but I'm sure a lot of school districts around the country have listed ACT Academy as a possible way to prepare for the ACT for free. It has some strengths and some not so strong areas, so I wanted to show you what to expect. So first of all, if you click on, let me go back a minute actually. So if you, how do we find the ACT Academy? You can go to act.org, you can click on test prep options and scroll down and you will see ACT Academy or you can go to test prep and you'll see ACT Academy. So we click start practicing. I'm going to click that I'm a student so you can see exactly what the students will see. All right, I already have an account, but notice this. Your child will see, did your teacher give you a username and password? If your teacher didn't and no is already highlighted, that's fine. You don't need a username and password from your teacher. So you can just hit no and you can put in your email create a username remember what that is mine's already been created so i can just move on to the next step i will show you what that looks like okay you're going to put in some information about yourself Oh, I just noticed that I was able to, um, look, you can skip that. So we start learning. Right, this is as we see. And you've got short little like eight question quizzes in each section. And I find that those can be helpful. Or look at this. If you've already taken the ACT or the pre-ACT, you can enter your results and they will customize your learning. And this is without being customized. It's going to give you everything they have. Now, here's the part that I don't love about it. ACT Academy is nothing but a bunch of curated videos. And they're not even videos that are put out by the ACT. They just found online materials that they like. So you know, if you click on this, When you're watching a video when it pops up, concrete language, it's from somebody's Google Classroom. This does not appear to be automatically coming up, so now we've got to click on Google Classroom. That's going to load. It's showing my personal Google Classroom, so I don't even know where it wanted me to go. So there's Issue number one, what does this say? The connection was reset, so isn't that interesting? So let's look back at our next option. Back to day one and look at this next video. Let's see if that one comes up. There we go, this one is coming up. So we watch this video. My name is Will Salmon, and I'm an assistant professor of linguistics at the University I'm of I'm actually Minnesota showing this because to talk to you about different kinds we want to see how helpful this is for the actual ACT. And One way of dividing up linguistic meaning that's been very influential over the last 40 years or so, which grew out of the work is of the Is your student Paul going Grice to continue watching this video at this point out? And, and I've so been teaching ACT us, prep for... 12 years, and I've never used the word implicature ever in teaching ACT prep. So let's look at this little practice quiz. Let's look at our Conventions of Standard English. And let's see how this helps you. So I'm going to purposely, I'm not going to read it. I'm just kind of going through to show you what happens. So your student can go on if they don't, if they've never taken the ACT before. 
And let's see, let me get this one right. We stood and watched. See, that doesn't even look like a real ACT question, but the ACT has put this out. And instead of no change, which is what it looks like on the real test, we've got it repeated and we stood and watched. So what I've got to do is I have to go and look at what verb tense we need. So I'm going to look at we walked. So that's past tense. A truck that tried to cross and pass to get by over the flood had stalled. Two men awaited rescue. We stood and watched. I was wearing. Yeah, so we want past tense. So we're going to get that one right. And yeah, we know this was right. I was wearing a red coat that my brother, my mother had buttoned tightly. That might be right. I haven't read all of it. So we're just going to click the first one and all of this so you can see what happens at the end. So we want to get more wrong if we can so we can get the maximum resources available to us, right? Oh, that good past participle. I wasn't frightened until I saw. You don't say had saw and you don't say seen by itself so let's get that one right all right end test and now we get to see what you get focus your practice on the questions you missed look at that i didn't even read it and i got 70 well i got two of them right on purpose and <laughs> 75 percent right so it takes you through what you got wrong so Let's see, it shows you. And let's see, what does it explain? Rationale, correct, incorrect, there's, there's no explanation for it. I don't see this as a substitute for tutoring or class. So let's go see, um, let me close this out. Close that out and let's look at um, what we've got here. Day two is science. Okay, so they've given us some science. The Coriolis effects centrifugal force. This is, y'all, this is not what you need for ACT prep. It's not. This is just a few random videos about random ideas but gives you nothing for strategies therefore here is what i am going to do i'm going to on this youtube channel if you hit the subscribe button down there i am going to as often as i can put up what free information from my um from my ect boot camp on here to help you all do a little bit better than this ACT Academy. Sorry, ACT, but I mean, you've got great books, but I'm not feeling this ACT Academy. All right, but there you go. That's what it looks like. Keep studying.